All right, this is second grade, module six, lesson 13. And in this lesson, students are gonna be using square tiles. They're gonna be building rectangles or arrays, but then they're gonna take that array and they're gonna break it apart. And that's going to create the opportunity for students to begin the understanding of decomposition and taking that array and breaking it up into two smaller arrays. And each of those arrays has a repeated addition. So let's get started. So here we're given three steps that we're going to accomplish. First, we're going to construct a rectangle with five rows of two, and there we go. I've already done that ahead of time. But then it says step two, separate two rows of two. So that's where we're going to take our tiles and we're going to break it apart. So our rectangle, instead of having five rows of two, we now have three rows of two here and two rows of two here. Now write a number bond to show the whole and the two parts. So the idea would be we started with five rows of two, so that's the whole. Then we broke it up. This goes here and this goes here, so you can think of this as, I'm gonna move that out of the way there, and uh, you could think of this as three rows of two and two rows of two. And so that's where you can think of, this goes with that, three rows of two, and this goes over here, that's two rows of two. And so that is what they're looking for right here. This is called decomposition, so we decomposed the five rows of two to be three rows of two plus two rows of two. Now, if we wanted to, oh no, it says so, we have to write the repeated addition. So one way to do that, repeated addition, would be to say, this is two plus two plus two, because we have three rows of two, so two plus two plus two. And then this guy, being over here, would be two rows of two, so that's two plus two. And so that is the repeated addition that they were talking about. Last problem for this video. Use 14 square tiles to construct a rectangle. Woohoo, I did. Now, the way I built it, this is not the only way to build it, but the way I built it was I did two rows of seven, and we can see that that's 14 tiles. Now, parents and teachers, don't just jump there. You may need to pause the video, or you may need to really let your students count these tiles to be sure, because we don't want them to just start running into, like, rules and things to memorize. Let them count. Let them touch. Now, step B says to remove one row. So I'm going to remove one of these rows. So let's see. Boom. Here's the row I'm going to remove. Boom. It's gone. So now the question is, how many rows are there now? Well, the way I drew it, there are now, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, there's now seven squares now. Then it says remove one column from this new rectangle. And oh, I'll take away this column right here. I'll take that guy away. Boom. Took him away. Now the question is, how many squares are there now? And we can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can see that there's now six squares. Now I'm wondering, I'm wondering if instead of building this rectangle at the very beginning, if I built a different rectangle using 14 tiles. And then if I followed this recipe, remove one row, remove one column, I'm wondering if I would end up with the same answer. Parents and teachers, this might be a nice opportunity to investigate. Give this, let your students build this. Some students are going to build one kind of rectangle with the 14. Other students are going to build a different kind of rectangle with the 14. And let them follow the, the process to see if they all end up with the same answer, in this case, 6. And that wraps up. Second grade, module six, lesson 13. Students are using square tiles. They're building rectangles. They're decomposing rectangles. And uh, wraps up a good one.